Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Today is April 14th, 2015, and today has been five years since one of my music uh, idols uh, passed away, Peter Steele from Type 1 Negative. Um, type 1 Negative. Uh, I remember when he died, how upset I was. I, I cried. Uh, being a huge Type 1 Negative fan since the mid 90s, you know, like uh, October Rust, World Coming Down, Dead Again, Life is Killing Me, I have the other ones, Bloody Kisses and whatnot, somewhere. These are just the ones I found on the top of my head. Well, these albums are classics. Life is Killing Me, 2003, Dead Again, 2007, World Coming Down, uh, 1999, October Rust, 1996. I just noticed now it has a small little crack in it. This album, right here, changed my life. Changed my musical life. Uh, I think this album is absolutely fantastic, and to me is one of the best albums of all time. I mean, Typo Negative, Peter Steele pretty much wrote pretty much every single song uh, that Typo Negative, you know, ever released or came up with. It was pretty much Pete, Peter Steele's creativity, his mind. Uh, to me, he was just a musical genius, a creative, creative genius. And it's, it's hard to believe that it's been five years since he passed. Uh, I'm obviously a huge Typo Negative fan, as you can see from my, my channel name. Uh, that I created in August 2010. Uh, it's just, he was such a huge presence, you know, it would have been nice to meet him, but they never ever came around my area. And it would have been great, but it's it's good to watch all the videos and whatnot that they release, and the home videos, and you can see the, the humorous side to Peter Steele. A very, very serious, serious man. Very tall man, you know, over six feet tall big massive guy he's just the type of guy every one time I had a dream about him and in my dream he was cool and everything but he was chasing me for some reason <laughs> he was, I, don't, I don't remember this everything about it or what not but he was chasing me and I was scared out of my mind because he has such a deep voice and he has such a presence you know so when he died from you know heart failure at the age of 48 you know in 2010 on this day April 14th uh, a big light went out in the world you know his his biggest influences were like Black Sabbath and the Beatles well you know what I think that type of negative itself the band to me that's my opinion and this is my YouTube video this is I can say whatever the fuck I want here you know to me type of negative is just as big as the Beatles just as big as Black Sabbath I mean their music is down to low you know, tune to a B E A D, I believe it is. Low B E A D for his tuning for his bass. I've covered a couple of type of negative songs. Uh, I don't think I've done too many tutorials, but I've done some covers. And I mean, when you're playing bass, you're so low that when you hit the string, it's just like a snap. It's just, it's low, but it's such creative songs. Like, you know. Every song I think you can relate to in a lot of ways. There's a lot of songs that he wrote based on obviously his experiences and life and whatnot and how, you know, when he posed for Playgirl, more men bought that magazine than women. And I'm a man, I've seen the pictures, whatever. It didn't bother me. I, was, I think it was super cool that after, you know, that album was released, or the, uh, you know, I, I think that it's just. <laughs> it's funny that they put him on the cover of Playgirl. It's not funny. I don't mean it in a bad way. I think it's super cool that you know that he was posing for Playgirl in 1995. When I think their biggest, best album came in 1996, October Rust. Uh, for me, October Rust. The first time I heard "Love You to Death," I said to myself, "This is the ultimate love song. This is the, the ultimate ballad. It has everything in it that you could want." The lyrics are good, the music is good, the melodies, the arrangements, the harmonies, everything. You know, somebody said to me one time, you know, when's the first, you ever fall in love? Like, what's the first time you fell in love? 
I feel personally the first time that I fell in love was when I heard the song Love You to Death by Typo Negative. And to this day, it's it's a, it's my favorite song of all time. That and my wedding song, Dream Come True by Frozen Ghost. It's always a combination of the two. It depends on my day, I guess. But Love You to Death is one of the best songs ever written, ever recorded. And I think it should be in the National Hall of Congress or whatever music library. Uh, the whole album, you know, Red Water, Christmas Morning. I mean, I, I, when I go to sleep at night, I listen to music on my iPod. And a good majority of the nights I go to bed, I'm listening to the song Haunted, the last track on October Rest. And when he does that, ooh, does that twice, and then when he does it again, the third time, he harmonizes it so well. That part, to this day, when I hear it, almost it's so unbelievably good. That it almost makes me want to cry when he does that. Ah, like when he brings it up and finishes the song like that. You know, and then at the end he says, you know, that's it. I hope it wasn't too disappointing. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hello. Hell no. Sorry. October Russ. One of the best albums ever created. Hands down. It's just... It's a masterpiece. I mean, and then my second favorite... Is World Coming Down. I mean, the songs on here, you know, World Coming Down itself is an amazing song. White Slavery, all kinds of good songs, man, off that album. Uh, Typo Negative is right up there, probably my second favorite band. Metallica is my first. But I'd say probably Typo Negative is probably my second favorite band. And it's sad that Peter Steele is not with us anymore. Um, you know, he had a lot to offer still, you know, he was so young at the age of 48, you know, passed from, you know, heart failure and aortic aneurysm or something like that. Uh, I don't know how much more I can say about the fact that I think that whenever he died, a light went out in the world, you know, and he also had his other band, Carnivore which I'm not too, too familiar with. I was more of a Typo Negative fan, but that was a big part of his life as well. Um, but whenever I, I never, I'll never forget the shock finding out that Peter Steele died. His death shock was like for me finding out when Michael Jackson died. In fact, like Michael Jackson was listed as the biggest uh, shocking event in music, death in music history because of who he was but for me and for so many millions and millions and millions of Typo Negative fans whenever Peter Steele died a light went out in the world uh, he was just simply uh, a creative creative genius and he created so many fantastic albums you know he could be very very serious and he could be very very humorous I like Goyles you know Halloween in Heaven, all these songs, you know, Dead Again, just, but then he can, he could hit you really hard, you know, songs like Red Water, Christmas Morning, you know, just, they hit you right here in, in the heart, you know, they make you think and they make you feel, like, just, you know, life is killing me, I don't want to be me, that's actually got a hell of a killer riff and it's fun to play. I like Goyles, that's funny. Uh, life is killing me itself. We were electrocute, that's kind of like, you know, making fun of like certain styles and whatnot. Anesthesia has one of the coolest, I think, piano melodies of all time. Like, his songs could, they could consent, they could, uh, or transcend from one, they could take you from one mood to the next. You know what I mean? You can put on World Coming Down, listen to White Slavery, and then near the end of the album, you know, you have mixed emotions, you're up and down. Because, you know, that that is a good album. When it's not completely... It's not depressing. People say Typo Negative is depressing music. Typo Negative is not depressing music. Not in my opinion. No, I don't think that Typo Negative is depressing music because 
Whenever I am feeling depressed, which is a lot because I have a lot of health problems, whenever I am down and whatnot, I'll put on typo negative and I'll feel better because their music just, it hits me, it hits me right here in the chest, you know, and to hear Peter's voice, I miss his voice, like the part in Haunted when he's talking all throughout the veins, the green mist swirls, is it a shadow of reflection? When I hear that in my ears when I'm going to sleep at night on my iPod, I feel like Peter's speaking to me. And it's like I miss his voice, you know, and it's just like their last album, you know, 2007 Dead Again. Working on new music, you know, around the time he died and whatnot. And the band obviously decided not to continue on. And you really can't blame them because Peter Steele is irreplaceable. There's nobody that could replace a guy like that. Not with the, you know, the deep voice he had, the towering figure he had. You know, he played a bass and he used a chain for a, for a strap. I remember the first time I seen a picture of Peter Steele. Back when there was barely any internet. Probably 1995. Around then, maybe even before. I seen a picture of him because I got into Bloody Kisses and, you know, Slow, Deep, and Hard, all these, these the, the earlier albums. And when I first seen him, you know, because I couldn't get pictures anywhere back then. Like, there was nothing. And I seen a picture of him, you know, in his typical the shirts that he wore and whatnot, and he was a muscular guy, a big muscular guy, with a chain for his, for his around his neck for a base, to hold up his base. And I remember thinking, this guy is a fucking powerhouse, man. He's using a he's using a chain to hold his base up, you know. And then later on, when you see the videos, you know, he just tosses it. You know what I mean? They had custom, you know, it was I believe it was Fernandez uh, instruments. You know, they had their typical green color or whatever. I'm very colorblind, but I know the green man and whatnot. But the colors of his base and whatnot. And I remember seeing his picture and just printing it off and sticking it on my wall because. He was that big of an influence on me. So I just want to say, I guess I'll, I'll end this now. It's a 12 minutes and some seconds, but uh, I just want the world to know that, you know, Peter Steele was not just another face in the crowd. He was a legend. Uh, you know, I, he's a legend now, but I think he would have preferred to have been a man. I've heard that, that uh, phrase somewhere before. Now he's a legend when he would have preferred to have been a man you know he didn't predict you know, he was going to die so young at the age of 48 um, but his music lives on and all and you know that's the good thing about being a, you know a musician when you have the passion as a musician like I do to play their music and whatnot and uh, to be influenced so much so so much you know love you to death is just up there is my favorite song of all time. It, you know, like I said, it's a cross between the other one. Day to day, it varies. But uh, we miss you, Peter. We miss you a lot. You know, the, and just to say to the other guys, you know, and Typo, Josh, and Kenny, you know, and just Johnny. It's sad, that, you know, you he's lost your brother, and you. you It's it's I, as I understand that whenever they made the choice uh, in late 2010 to decide to not to continue because I mean, you couldn't replace Peter Steele you couldn't it's it's like trying to replace Randy Rhodes or Dimebag Daryl or somebody it's just that those types of musicians those type of people only come around once in a millennium or whatever and you know we never be tempted to come up with somebody else like that ever again. So, I'm going to take, after I end this video, and listen to World Coming Down, It's Over Us, Life is Killing Me, Dead Again, and I'm going to go and find my other albums, because right now I can just find these ones off the top of my head, and uh, I'll remember Peter Steele today. And I'll remember him for the rest of my life because 
when he when he died, it was a shock beyond a shock, and it was sad beyond sad. So rest in peace, Peter. We miss you. We miss you a lot. It's been five years. Hard to believe it's been five years. So much you know you could have brought still to us musically, but we still have your music, and it lives on. It's like any artist who's left music behind. So I hope that any type of negative fans and you know carnivore fans and just you know fans of the band who see this you know can relate to how I'm feeling about Peter Steele and you know feel free to leave leave a comment below about you know tell me how you feel about Peter Steele if you're a type of negative fan and uh, I'd love to I'd love to hear other people's comments about uh, someone who is you know such a, a creative genius you know. And you know, on the fifth anniversary of his passing, it'd be nice to have some comments about uh, what other people think, because I I like to read what other people think about about Peter, and you know, and today's the anniversary, so rest in peace, Peter Steele. We miss you. We'll always miss you forever. Rest in peace, man. Thanks for watching this video.